One of the things that uh, I always thought was interesting uh, was a uh, sort of a, uh, a game that we played with ground control, which they can't do very often because they're so alert and, and knowledgeable about everything that's going on. But uh, uh, this story started two or three months before I flew. And at that time I made a recording uh, with my then wife Helen's uh, recording on it as if she were visiting the Skylab for a visit. And that she was coming up there to uh, bring us a, a, a home cooked meal. And so uh, uh, it required a little bit of cooperation from the ground. And so I had several people on the ground who were knowledgeable about what I was going to do. And they were expecting me to let them know, and so they were going to play along with this game when I mentioned it. So I, I knew when Bob Crippen, whom I'm sure you've already talked with, uh, was going to be on, I said, uh, maybe 20 minutes before this started when I was passing over a ground station, because we did not have continuous contact back in Skylab days, I said, I'll have something special for you on the next uh, trip. And so Bob knew exactly what I was talking about and said, Roger, he's got it. And so uh, when uh, we, 20 minutes later, came back in contact with the ground, this female voice came on the, uh, ra the radio channel. It was a proper radio channel, so they knew it wasn't coming from something that uh, was done locally. It was done actually coming down from space, saying, well, I, I uh, just came up to bring the boys a, a home-cooked meal. And that took them all back by surprise. Uh, Bob Crippen had a sh short little uh, two-way conversation that he knew ahead of time what was going to happen. So Bob participated. He he'd actually he'd had that, re uh, 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 that contact, that discussion, already pre-planned on a sheet of paper. And so he pulled out a sheet of paper before we, I got in contact, reviewed what he was supposed to do, put it back in his pocket, and she was all prepared when we came around and this female voice came across the, the radio uh, channel and said, I have a home-cooked meal for the boys. And so uh, that only lasted a couple of conversations back and forth, but it uh, certainly surprised the ground. And they never figured out what we had done. How in the world did this female voice come down from space on, ra on the radio channel? And so uh, uh, I didn't tell them how it was done. And actually some 20 years later, I asked the ground controllers who were still with NASA, did you know what happened then? And they said, no, we never did figure that out. What was going on? And then I told them after 20 years uh, how we had uh, done this trick. And so um, I always thought that was an interesting uh, gotcha. As you know, uh, astronauts frequently get gotchas every opportunity there is. And this was a gotcha that we got on the ground, uh, one of the very few occasions on which we really had a chance to uh, uh, provide a story that they had no idea how it came about or where it was headed. Mm -hmm.